So for today, we're going to be looking at a fitting aspect that got asked for not too long ago. If you are interested in seeing an exotic be showcased, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to get started on it. Uh, if it is an exotic that I already made, I'll just forward you to that video. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to be looking at what the exotic actually does. We're going to be looking at the ornaments, if it has any, which this one does have. We're going to be looking at how it shaders. And I have a few example sets that I have just for you guys so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed so if you can do me a favor like comment sub it really does help me motivate me to make more content helps the algorithm helps the analytics helps so many things and all you have to do is just sub like or comment which is just it means the world to me so for fitting aspects actual perk it's called cobra totemic weapons ready and reload very quickly melee range is extended provides a small benefit to airborne effectiveness stat of all weapons nothing too crazy for this exotic it literally just makes you much faster with your weapon specifically like uh taking your weapon in and out and your reload is faster and your range is for your melee is much much bigger so really really cool i mean i shouldn't say much much bigger it's like not that crazy of a change but it's also good so Either way, it's really good. I really like this exotic. I actually have this exotic for my PvP build because it's really good. Uh, aside from transversive step, which is the other exotic that people use. I personally think that Ophidian is a little strong because they get all of that for free. When hunters, we need a dodge to get all of that. And we don't even get a melee range. And I think that's it. So i'm just saying for a lot of people who are like hunters get free free jump height and all this for for stompies they don't have to do anything to activate it ophidian is literally the same thing like bro don't even start so that's pretty much what it does i'm not gonna fight people on this because it, it is what it is but as for the actual look itself it's very unfortunate because i do think it's a downgrade wet compared to destiny ones Ophidian aspect, which is super cool. I have both of them up right now so that you can see the differences. I shouldn't have to tell you the difference, but I'm going to say it anyway. The difference is the fact that the coiled snake heads is actually at the bottom in Destiny 2 compared to Destiny 1, where it was actually uh, next to the bond. I think that looked way cooler, made it much more interesting, and it also made pairing certain bonds with it look really, really cool. And the ball wasn't a glow. It is a glow in Destiny 2, unfortunately. I say unfortunately because it doesn't change color. So you're stuck with this green. And that's really all I have to really say about just a default look. As for how it shaders, this shaders exactly how you think it would. One snake takes the main color and another snake takes the off color. Uh, that's really it. I don't really have anything crazy to say about this because I don't really have to say anything about it. Uh, you will see that there's three colors in this one, specifically the undercloth of the armor is white for Echoed Anger specifically. And then the differences in snakes have different colors. That's really it. For Abyssinian Gold, it's literally the same thing. It's just that the under armor is black instead of white. That's because it's Abyssinian Gold, obviously. And yeah, I don't really have to, I don't, I don't have much to say about this one because it just, it makes sense. A lot of the colors take the colors exactly how you think they are there's no off colors in this and the only problematic piece is the fact that the glow ball doesn't change color so for the first example set this is pretty interesting because the set that i'm showing you right now is actually my second version of this look i switched out the chest door or i switched out the boots and i switched out the shader i do have the original one which i will show you in a bit but I just wanted to tell you guys because I think this looks amazing. Okay, so let's talk about it. The helmet Celesteel uh, cover I think looks amazing with the Pyric Ascent vestment. I think both of these pair really well together. I think the ornamentation for Celesteel cover looks so amazing with the Pyric Ascent that I just I was like, wow, I am I'm in love. For the boots, Shadows boots was an easy choice because the engraving on the armor on the sides of, of like the gold piece specifically, I think look amazing with the Pyric Ascent vestment. And I also like the fact that there is some green in there for the boots. For the bond, we're using the Corrupting Echo Bond because specifically the ball 
glow thing on the Ophidian aspect looks super, super cool with the bond itself. And if you use Ancient Wisdom, which is the shader from King's Fall, you get this really rich green that really pairs well with the balls, the, specifically the bond and the ball for the uh, Ophidian aspect. So this legitimately is like one of my favorite looks. I so much so that I actually switched it from the other look that I have, which is in this video that you guys will see. It's the last set actually. So yeah, Warlocks, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As for the original set, this is the original set. Nothing too crazy changing. Uh, the only thing that really does change is the fact that I really went in with green for this one, which is why I decided not to do it because a, I'm already I'm already using Gambit Jade Stone for another set in this video. And B, I just thought it was too much green personally. So I'm not going to go through all of it too crazy. I'm just going to go through the differences, which is the Gambit Jade Stone is the biggest thing. The atmospheric glow for Celestial Cover. So that way, instead of that like super bright green you get for Gambit Jade Stone, you get a much more uh lighter green which pairs well with the corrupting echo bond which is why i went with that green and then for the boots forbidden visage boots while not bad i do think the shadow steps i think they were called i think those would just look better because again these don't look bad i just think the other ones look better that's really it so warlock let me know what you guys think in the comments below which set did you like the most let me know in the comments below as for the first ornament man let me tell you guys it's not good. So the Caduceus, I don't know how to say this. It sounds like I'm saying something wrong, uh, but it's basically just two snakes coiled up together even more than the default look, which granted, I don't know why I hate it as much as I do, but it just looks pretty bad. And that's not even getting into shadering because when you see the shader situation, I can't help but get mad. So for example, Echoed Anger should be shown in the screen right now. And for those of you who actually know some color, like actually understand how colors work and whatnot, you guys will know that the blue steel is actually lighter, as in it's a desaturated. And same thing goes for the red. Now, it is mostly because of the snake's uh, pattern, but it also is the fact that it is a little bit more desaturated. You will see in some pieces in the, in the pattern that the blue steel is supposed to be that certain color. Same thing for the red. But I think the pattern really messes it up for me because from Echo to Anger, you guys can see that the, the, the color is just so desaturated. And then you see like Abyssinian Gold and you see it even more because Abyssinian Gold's off color is black. This is gray. So unfortunately, I just can't really vibe with it. As for the example set, I ended up going with something that I'm not really proud of, but to be fair, the chess piece that I actually wanted to use, I don't have. We'll look at it after we see the pieces because someone might like this. For the helmet, we're using the Celestine Hood Majestic, one of the, my favorite helmets for the Warlocks. This shit is fire. It's legitimately one of the coolest helmets, and I'm not going to fight you on this because I'm not wrong. The chess piece and the Empyrean Cartographer robes, eh, I can do without these. These uh, this chess piece. It's not the best, but it's not worse. It's fine. For the boots, we're using these Celestial boots. Again, this is like one of those boots where it's like, it looks good in this set, but any other set, I'm not going to like it. And then for the Coronation Bond, it's an easy choice. This is one of my favorite bonds in the game, so much so that I should veto myself from using it, but I'm not because this shit looks fire. So I wanted to go through that fast because I want to just show you guys what I'm talking about. So unfortunately, I haven't been playing Trials much because I value my sanity, but the specific chess piece that I wanted to use was the Atavistic Idol Vestments. And as you guys can see right now, you guys will understand why. I think it looks amazing. The symmetry works really well with the arms, and that's really it. <laughs> There's nothing too crazy or grandiose about it. It's just the fact that it's symmetrical and it's Egyptian themed. I think looks pair, is going to pair really well with this. So unfortunately, I will have to basically give you an IOU for this one because I don't have the chess piece. I will probably play Trials when it comes back so that way I can get the chess piece because I want to get it before it goes away because I do think this chess piece looks amazing. But yeah, this is pretty much the set I would wear. The helmet, everything I probably would still keep because I do think it looks cool. 
but I would have to actually get the chess piece and see it through the customization menu because from just this alone, I, I just can't really judge it too much. So Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. Again, do apologize that I don't have the actual set, but to be fair, this is, this is the ornament I hate the most. So I'm okay with it. As for the next ornament, we're looking at the coaxial bond. So this is pretty cool because if you are just not a fan of the snakes, this is going to be one of the sets you're going to want to get this one and the next ornament because it does have another ornament. So for this one, it's really cool. You can pair this with electrical looks. You can pair this with like SIVA stuff, which is really cool as well. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any SIVA legendary armor, but once we do, you know that bitch is going on. As for how it shaders, it shaders how you expect it to be. Just be aware that the yellow wiring does not change color, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, the other piece that doesn't change color is the blue wires as well within like certain pieces. So anything that's blue, I, I, I think that's blue, but well, not blue, blue, but like blue, green, um, turquoise, like a dark turquoise. Either way, the dark tur turquoise wiring and the yellow wiring does not change color and the red glow on the tip of the wires don't change color as well there's a lot of pieces that don't change color in this set just be aware as for the example set again i ended up going with just my gut which was the catch killer's hood specifically because i like the fact that it has a white glow for the crucible carmen but also because it does have a hose at the bottom i just think it looks really cool with this chest piece which is the legacy oath robes this is a chess piece I always use on electrical looks because I think it's the best one for it. There is other pieces that you could use, specifically the seasonal ornament from the season of the splicer, but I'm kind of like burnt out from that chess piece because I do think again, legacy oath robes are just the better choice. For the boots, we're using the phenotype plasticity specifically because I like the fact that the white glow is on the, on the boots and I did want white glows on this because why not and then for the bond we're using the psionic speaker bond because i wanted something that was not super crazy and i didn't want to use the thorium one because i always use that one so i decided to use the psionic speaker one because i just a hunk of metal I, I don't think that's bad at all so warlocks let me know what you guys think in the comments below i don't have much to say about this one because i've made electrical looks before and this one is just a t like a tweaking of current sets that i've made in, in the past so let me know what you guys think in the comments below and last but not least, we have Coiled Lasso. This is legitimately one of the best looks for Ophidian Aspect. I think it looks amazing. Very cowboy themed, which is appropriate because you guys actually have a few cowboy themed pieces. Uh, we're going to go through the example set in a bit, which I really, really like. But yeah, this is going to be really good with trench coats. Anything uh, that has like a cowboy feel, it's going to look amazing. For the shader situation, I could be wrong about this one, but looking at Echoed Anger, it's taking white for the cloth, which I don't remember off the top of my head if if white is the main color or the off color of Echoed Anger. So this one, I might, I don't know. I I just don't know about this one. For Abyssinian Gold, unfortunately, it's black. So it might be off color or it just might be my eyes are playing eyes, like tricks on me. Let me know in the comments below if you guys know for sure, but I think it's taking off colors. I'm just going to say that right now. For the example set, I ended up going with a few pieces that I think look amazing. So the Illicit Reaper hood was an easy choice. I think the like the mask is just such a such an easy choice for cowboy themed stuff, which is why I'm using it. The chest piece Wraith Trail robes is the easiest. To, I Once I saw these arms, I was like, I'm going to use it with the Wraith Trail robes like not even this was not even hard at all dog or wrath trail i should say it's it's such a good pairing it's so good for the boots starfarer's boots is an easy choice as well i think the like the knee high boots is just so good with this set and then for the bond we're actually using this fetish bond just because of the engraving i think would made it look really good with the engraving with the wrath trail and stuff like that so Warlock, send me what you guys think. I really like this set. This is like one of my favorite sets. So much so that this was the set that I was actually rocking for, for my Ophidian Aspect build. But now that I found the default look, that look, I just love it so much that I'm going to be pair, like switching both of these looks on and off because I think they look amazing. So Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully commenter, I 
I helped you out because this is a hard exotic to work around. And I do think that the first default look of the first example set, I should say, I think that one looks amazing. And you can definitely scoop that one up because it does look super cool. So Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. Be safe and I'll see y'all later.